What's good, y'all? It's King Kai. Back at it again with the Demon Slayer jacket. I'm not taking it off. Suck my nads. All right, but today I wanted to talk about why I'm actually glad that I was a loser and why you should be glad that you're a loser too. Okay. So in today's society, it's a there's a negative connotation to being a loser, right? It means like you haven't really. Done, hold on, my hair's looking kind of anime right now. It's kind of dope. <laughs> but anyway, back back to what I was saying. If you are branded as a loser, that means that you have absolutely nothing going on, right? And that can be such a blow to, like, a man's confidence. Because, you know, I see it on Reddit a lot. So, they, a lot of people feel like, I'm a loser, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything with my life. And they feel like they're out of control, that like they can't do anything about it. Even if they are trying, they're generally trying, but they feel like nothing is happening. And there's, like, nothing more painful than that, okay? I talked a few times about, on the channel, how I was a loser up Basically my whole life, not gonna lie. I was basically like down atrocious my whole life. So, you know, from a kid, I had friends, but they weren't really friends. They were kind of just there. Um, they didn't like come over. I didn't go visit them that much. Uh, let's say, for example, like middle school, I got like, I got like really obsessed with like games and junk. So I was like kind of a hermit and I lost, like I had no social skills. Like girls, pfft, bro, all of school... I, g girls wasn't even a thing to me because like not because I didn't want to have like a girlfriend it's because legit I had zero attention from kindergarten to 12th grade I had one girl crush on me one and I did the, maybe maybe the girl started drinking alcohol a little bit earlier than she should have I don't know but she had a crush on me when I was in fourth grade <laughs> right maybe she was she was on something I don't know but I had, like, no attention from girls at all, right? And the thing is that you would see other guys, like, getting all the chicks. Like, they bagging all the chicks. And then I'm like, man, man bump that guy, bro. Like, <laughs> I, want, I want to be loved too, bro. <laughs> oh, damn, that's pain. That's pain, bro. But that was basically me, right? I got my first girlfriend literally right after I graduated, like, high school. Like, literally, like, a week after I graduated, um, I started dating some girl. But, um, yeah, I was basically losing my whole life. And, like, you know, when I graduated, I w went through my Walmart arc. That's, like, my villain story, basically. I had a crossroad. I could have either, like, started the rumbling or reformed and became a different person. I mean, luckily, I didn't, I didn't do the former. I became a better person, right? But th th that was so garbage. And, like, I, then I quit that job, went to another job that was, like, an hour away from me, right? And I woke up at 3 in the morning to leave at 4, get there at 5, wouldn't get off to like 4.30, and then be in traffic for two and a half hours, and then get home at like 7, and then go to sleep immediately, and then do it all over again. I'm like, what else What, what else do I even do? Like, I don't know what to do. And then I, I bounce back and forth between, I don't know how many like warehouse jobs. It's just that I was like a loser for a long time, but I'm actually very grateful for it. Because I'm, I don't think that I'm some kind of special guy or anything, right? I don't think that I've done something different that other people should be doing. I don't think that I'm some kind of innovator. It's not that. But now, this very second, I feel the most or I feel the best than I ever have in my life. And I mean that. Like, in my entire life. I, I hardly ever feel sad. I hardly ever feel depressed. And I feel genuinely happy because... You know, my, my body is in a much, 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 much better shape than it's ever been. My mental health is super good. I don't really talk about, I don't talk bad about myself anymore. Before, I used to do, like, self-deprecating jokes left and right. But now I don't do that. I don't, I don't go as far to make that, those kind of jokes. I just won't do it because I know, I know it'll creep into my mindset eventually. Um, let's say, for example, I became a personal trainer. So, like, that's a job that I actually enjoy for once. Let's see, I started this YouTube channel. This is something that I could not have done before because I didn't have the personality, life experience, the thirst for knowledge. I didn't have any of that stuff, so there's no way I could have done it. Me being down atrocious was the reason why I was able to take the initiative to change, right? I remember, actually, my first book, I have it right here. This is the first book that I've ever read outside of school, okay? It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This is the first book the first one that I picked up voluntarily. And, of course, I read books before that. Like, I read, um... Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. But I read... Sorry, Robert. <laughs> Mr. Kiyosaki's map. But I read 
books um, that were just like novels and like Harry Potter because I, I love Harry Potter and like stupid books in school like Animal Farm. Like, bro, don't get me wrong, the book was good, but I don't care. It's a bunch of stuff that I don't care about. But this is the first one that I read that actually reframed and completely reformed the way I think. It was actually kind of amazing. So, like, in this one, he talks about, like, um, the difference between assets and liabilities and stuff like that, right? This, nowadays, this isn't, like, super groundbreaking information. Like, back when it was released, it was. But right now, it's not really. But it's still good for someone like me, who didn't really know this kind of stuff, right? And that set me on the path for a thirst of knowledge because I knew for a fact I didn't know what I was going to do I didn't go to college either by the way I didn't finish so I'm like okay I don't do that I don't have skills I'm not good at anything like what am I supposed to do if it wasn't for me reading this I would not have been sent on the journey of wanting to learn more right and that led me to reading a whole bunch of different books like I have them right here bro so like the, I took the cover off but this is the 4 hour work week can you see it there you go right there this is the 4 hour work week this one's really good. It talks about business. This is psycho cybernetics. This talks about like mental health and self image. Uh, let's see. This is think and grow rich. So he's talking about like how to like use your mind to actually get what you want. Because the thing is, a lot of things that people want to do are inhibited by their own belief in themselves. Believe it or not, you don't really do something to its fullest capacity if you don't think that you can do it. Okay. I know it sounds like some mumbo jumbo manifestation stuff, but hey, man. It, Read it for yourself and see what you think. But I would not have ever gotten the opportunity to do this if my life was, like, really good. So imagine if I got every girl that I wanted. Like, 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 imagine if I was that dude who could just walk up and be like, Hey, babe, you coming with me. Like, we're going we gonna to go back and I'm gonna hit you with that Detroit smash. You feel me? <laughs> well, imagine if I got everything that I wanted to, to have in my life, right? I was hitting girls with the Detroit smash, bro. I was, like, like... Using Sukuyomi, Sukuyomi, whatever the what, what's that jutsu called? Uh, I don't know what the jutsu is called, but like the teleportation jutsu. I'm over like going wherever I want to. I have all the friends. Imagine if I had that life. I would have gotten super, super comfortable. I would not have gotten in the gym because I'm like I got, I got every ninja girl in the village coming after me. What do I need to go to the gym for, right? What do I need to train my jutsus for? But I didn't have that, so it's like. Yo, I want affection. Like, dang, I want to I wanna feel like I'm actually somebody. So I went to the gym, right? And in the beginning, it was just for girls. But now it's like I want to do it for myself. And this is why I think it's going to be a good thing for you. Like, it, bro, if you're around, like, my age range, like, 18 to 25 that I'm trying to talk to, then, and if you like anime, bro, you're a loser. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, bro. Like, I don't know you. But if you know me, if you're watching my channel, you're probably into anime. You're probably a loser, bro. Like, you know, it is what it is. Like, I'm not getting, I'm not mad at you. I'm not making funny because literally that's, we're the same, bro. So if you're watching my channel, you're probably a loser. But I want you to be grateful about being a loser because this is when you have a grand opportunity. You have the opportunity to either A, be a buster and just concede and just say, like, oh, it is. <laughs> It is what it is. I'm just going to sit here and complain and cry. Or you can say, you know what? No, about that, bro. I actually want something of myself. So what do I have to do to get there? You don't have to have a plan. That's not the point. See, people think that, oh, when I have this plan, then I'll do it. When I have this in place, then I'll do it. But it doesn't. you don't need to have that. The second that like, you have an idea, I want to just, how do I do it? Your brain starts to look for answers, and then you stumble upon your first book. Okay, and then this is when your journey starts. Not like when you start succeeding, not when you have all the money in the world, all the girls in the world. Your journey starts the very second you set some real intention to change. And that is actually a beautiful thing. So this is why I think it's a good idea for you to be a loser. Because you would not have a reason to want to improve otherwise. Because like I talk about self-improvement a lot. I, I'm only here because I had no female attention. None. I'm only here because I was not popular. I'm only here because I didn't go to college. I didn't have a job that I actually liked. The thing is, I don't want you guys to believe that college is bad or anything like that. That's not the that's not the point of this. But well, I'm, that's just not. I just didn't do it because I didn't. I couldn't find my. I don't know what these are. I don't know. I don't know what. 
software engineering does. What, what does that even do? Like, I don't know how to code, bro. Like, I don't know what these stupid numbers mean. I can barely spell. <laughs> I can spell. Shut up. But <laughs> I'm saying, like, I don't, I, I'm not that. I'm kind of stupid, bro. Like, I really just read a lot of books. So I'm like, where do I go? But you can have the same opportunity if you are a loser. You just have to make the choice, like, consciously. Are you going to fold or are you going to, like, move forward? So I'm going to give you the opportunity to choose right now. So... Yeah, that, that's it. That, that, that's that's basically all I have for now. Um, if you're a loser, like be grateful, dude. Because legit, some people are not losers, and then they end up becoming losers because they're like, oh, what happened? Like, what happened to my life? It was so good. It's because you stopped improving yourself. Because you, you didn't feel like you needed to learn anything. You felt like you knew it all, and you skipped past this book, right? So, yeah. That's basically all I have for today's video, video though. English is hard. I'll catch you guys on the next one, though. Deuces.